basically once we break down these statistics that all work into a digital marketing campaign, like these are the goals or the KPIs that we track so that we can hit the goals that we're defining, right? The next thing I do, we know we're going to track all of these numbers and then we just kind of go through the process, you know, and we look at those, those statistics, like on a fake campaign, we're going to look at a click-through rate. Okay, well, what do we want our click-through rate to be? Realistically, it's going to be one and a half to 2%. That's our sweet spot. If it's above that, we leave it alone. If it's below one, we have to update our ad. Um, clicks to site. You know, a number, you know, this is actually just a reflection of your cost per click, cost per click to site, right? So in my head, this is one that I use a ton, depending on the campaign. That really kind of breaks down, you know, the health of, of the actual ad you're running. Uh, and then as you're going through just a little bit further, say for your, on your clicks per site, the goal you may be putting out is say uh, $2 per click. That makes everything else work. Your landing page percentage, you don't have to be accurate, but if you know your landing page percentage, your landing page is going to convert at between a certain rate. If you expect it to be about 10%, then it lets you know that if it's converting significantly lower, there's a problem with your page or a problem with your offer, the problem with the way you're convert your distributing it, right? So before we start, we take all of those KPIs that we just mentioned, and we put either a, a dollar value or a numerical value beside it that's based on projections we've done in the past. Nothing is ever consistent, but you know, by, by putting numbers to the theory, it lets me know what to adjust in the first couple of days. You know, and, and some of these are going to be positive. Some of these are going to be negative. Some of them are going to be way better than you thought. And some are going to be way worse than you thought. But hopefully, if everything hits, you're going to get your, you know, your cost per sale or your cost per repeat customer in range with what you're really looking for. Um, just to finish up here briefly, Tom, like after we set all of those stuff up, have a huge understanding of, of the numbers we're trying to get. Uh, and if we can just kind of go into a screen share right now, yep. what I always do is I, um, I search for an online calculator, an online ROI calculator, essentially. Um, there's hundreds of these online. Just search online ROI calculator free. Uh, and they'll, you'll get something like this that essentially, you know, like we just said, you know, if our click through rate is, you know, 3% and visits to the site, you know, essentially we need a hundred of them visits to lead this is your landing page conversion so we're going to say seven of them you know this is your the number of leads your lead conversion rate let's say you're at 35 percent and then essentially if you work through these calculators you know as you're looking at it you know everything is going to fluctuate with everything right so if you just basically put your information in here and one of them is significantly out of whack. Like on this fake example, I've said our cost per lead is $142, but our cost for customer is 408. If that makes sense for your client, great. Um, but at the same time, if when you actually launch your ad, if your click-through rate isn't working at 3% and if it's at, you know, 0.5%, sorry, 0.5%, you know, as you go farther and down through, well, obviously it's not, <laughs> it's not working out here. Uh, but as you, as you go farther through, none of the num none of the other numbers actually work out. So what that should have done is affect this here, right? So your, your visits would have dropped by like 60%. So that would go down to like 25. And as you do that, your return on everything becomes much more expensive, right? So Definitely not only define your goals, but set them up and then uh, measure them. Use a, an online calculator so you can visualize it, so you can show it to your clients before you launch. Um, and then also like show it to your team so that everybody's on board and they know that all the different contributions from all of the different steps, whether they're the sales team, the graphic designers, the video editors, uh, the, you know, the receptionist who sets up the calls, all of that kind of stuff, they all matter. It's a chain. Uh, and, and these tools are a great way of actually visualizing that. Um, anyways, Tom, before we finish up today, is there anything else you think we should touch on in episode one of our strategy for online campaigns? 
Seriously? No, I think that's it. I think it's a great, uh, we did a great job in just kind of unpacking those elements. Um, if it gets a little bit too, uh, you know, complicated for you, simply look for an online calculator that Kevin had talked about. And all of those things were going to be neatly organized for you in the way, and the formulas are going to be there as well, right? So it's just getting your foundation dialed in. So they either, you know how to inspect what to expect or having your team member um, be able to drive and work through these things. Yeah. Got to know your numbers. You want to win, you got to know the numbers. All right. Anyways, Tom, always a pleasure. Episode number 12 in the books. Come back next week. We're going to talk about defining an audience um, and, and maybe make it farther than that in the sequence. All right. See y'all. All right. Take it easy.